Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. This is a catalytic converter heat shield. It says C7, it also fits T C6, I wrote that on there, from DEI. And uh, they sent this to me, I'm going to install it on the converter on the driver's side to protect the oil cooler on my C6 Z06 Corvette protect it from the heat that the catalytic converter throws off. The whole point of the oil cooler is it wants to get rid of heat, not get gain heat from the catalytic converter. So let's open it up. Oh, I'll have to use two hands. Now there was some discussion on the Corvette forum, uh, been a member there for over 10 years, about Putting any kind of a cover on the catalytic converter would shorten the life of the converter. In my opinion, um, I don't think so. There are all kinds of other vehicles, not Corvettes, that have shields that are usually they're metal shields um, around catalytic converters, next to catalytic converters, on top of catalytic converters, and so on that are designed to deflect the heat um, away from the passenger compartment of the car or other components underneath the car. Um, and nobody's complaining about them having shields. So I don't think this is going to hurt the life of the catalytic converter. That's my opinion. Uh, I'm putting it on my car. And I wouldn't do that if I thought it was going to kill the cats. So what we have in the box is the shield, four metal tie wraps, a tool to tighten them up, which is pretty cool. Um, you can do it with a pair of needle nose pliers, but it's nice to have the tool. And uh, some instructions in color. So I don't think you need to put gloves on. I don't usually wear gloves when I'm working on the car. Um, you can wear them if you want to, no big deal. Uh, but this is not like uh, you're working with uh, fiberglass up on your attic putting in insulation. Uh, this is pretty well you know, sewn together, put together, woven together. Uh, so that's your call. Here's a picture of what it's going to look like when it's finished. And uh, I'm going to jump under the car. I've got it raised up really high. This is probably the highest I've ever had the this Corvette up. Um, and I've got another video on how to do this. So if you like uh, how I've got the car up there in the air, uh, give me plenty of room to work, uh, check out my other video. It'll be in the, uh, the playlist, Corvette playlist. Check it. Just a couple more words about this piece before I go into the car. Really heavy duty standoffs I call them standoffs to keep it from touching the catalytic converter um, so it's not like you're wrapping it with exhaust header wrap all right it's not touching the catalytic converter it's thick it's it's very thick and uh, very high quality in my opinion it's not like these are going to rip off or pull through or uh, or um, come apart once you've got it attached, I think it's there uh, for the life of the car. You can take it off if you want to just cut through these things and take it off to do exhaust work or whatever and then save it and put it back on, all right? So it's not like use it once only and throw it away. This is, you could take this off one Corvette and put it on your next Corvette. Okay, so here we are under the car. There's the oil cooler. There's the cat, oil cooler cat close not good uh, there's a wrap that I did on the passenger side to prevent heat soak on the starter starters right there cat starter cat not good uh, so I'm gonna do the same thing on this side what I did was I pre-threaded the steel tie wraps into the standoffs and I'm just gonna I'm gonna um, 
feed this around there. I'm going to need two hands, so you guys, I'll have to put the camera down for a second. I'm going to feed this around the catalytic converter and then cinch it up. And uh, I think this is not going to be too hard a job. So I'm going to two hands now. I'll put the camera down for a little bit. This is original here. You can see that GM has done some wrapping of the exhaust system, so they did realize that there was uh, too much heat. I guess this was to protect the, the oil cooler, but we're going to protect it a little bit more. This is your oil filter, and this is where it attaches to the bottom of the motor, and that is a pretty tight fit between the catalytic converter and that piece there. You have plenty of room with the oil filter, but tight up here, so you're going to have to do some wiggling uh, to get this in there. Uh, so back to two hands. Here's a picture of how those standoffs are going to hold the wrap away from the catalytic converter so that some air can get in and circulate around the catalytic converter uh, because it needs to do that uh, to carry away the heat. We just don't want it going there to the oil cooler. Okay, pay attention now. Here's the trick. And this is why you watch Froggy install these things. Uh, because I, I, I do it two or three different ways and then I find out which way is the best way uh, and the easiest way for you to slide it around there and then you can uh, save yourself a lot of aggravation. So, what you're going to do, and this is on a C6Z06, don't try to push it this way and come towards you. Push it away from you. Wrap it around that way, that direction. These standoffs eventually are going to be here, but to get it around the cat, put the whole shield forward of the cat towards the front of the engine. Okay, you follow me? It's just so you can get it around. Now I've got it around. Now I'm going to slide it that way so it's in the correct position. So that's the trick. Rewind it and look at it again. You line it up so the standoffs, one is like in the middle of the cat and one is off the cat over here. Wrap it around that way. All right, and you get it around, then you can slide it into correct position. Okay, I go back to two hands. Okay, so now I've started to fasten the tie wraps, the steel tie wraps. And remember, this is one time only. You can't back it out and try again so make sure you're ready to cinch it up tight um, they do give you two extra ones uh, so <laughs> i guess you get two tries at it but once you use all them up you're going to have to um buy some uh buy some more of these they're available online so don't worry about it if you if you mess it up you can just buy some more online or maybe call DEI and they'll send you some. I don't know. Um, that That's their call. I'm going to angle this a little bit. This is going to be an open section of the wrap. All right? That's intentional let it, to let the heat out. I'm going to angle the open section away from the heat, from the oil cooler a little bit. Not I'm not going to aim it at this part of the frame here, but I'm going to angle it a little bit towards the outermost uh, edge of the car, the driver's side door. Okay? Take the tool that DEI gives you and put it onto a quarter inch uh, nut driver is what I used. Um, and twist these until you snug them up tight. Don't have to over tighten them. Just snug them up tight enough so that it won't shift back or forth. It's really not going to go anywhere. But snug them up. Okay, you got those tight, and you're going to cut this off with a pair of side cutters, and then fold it. I would fold it so the sharp end is out of the way, and I'm going to tap it down a little bit with a with a hammer, just to make sure if I'm working under here, I'm not going to scrape up against it. If you take your side cutters and you know, squeeze them real hard and kind of make a dent in this, uh, material and then take it and just wiggle it it'll it'll break itself free 
It's it's a little hard to just squeeze it and cut through. I, I squeezed it and I cut through on this one, and then, I don't know, I must have ran out of energy. I couldn't I couldn't cut through this one, but I just took it and wiggled it, and it, like taking a paper clip, and you want to break it in half, you just keep wiggling, and it breaks out. So you see how I tap this one down with a hammer? I'm going to tap that other one down with a little hammer, make it smooth. So there you go, that's it. That's on the uh, driver's side to protect the oil cooler. Uh, done and done. So give me a thumbs up or a like. This helps you out. Subscribe to my channel if you want more from Froggy. Thank you to DEI and see you later. Be safe, have fun. Froggy out. Bye-bye. Oh, by the way, let me add this little uh, bit of information. On a 2013 Corvette C6 Z06, there are four cats. One, two big ones right up near the engine, and then two more back here. And GM has got shields on these cats back here. And it's got a shield here. So for, for you guys and gals who are saying don't put the shield on the cat, it's going to shorten the life of the cat. Um, there you go. I have to call BS on that because I don't think it's going to shorten the life of the cat. You're looking at original GM parts that have to stand up to federal emissions, mileage, and years, whatever it's supposed to last, I don't know, 10 years or something like that. So there you go. Okay? That should uh, put, a, put an end to that rumor or that opinion. See you later. Froggy out. Bye-bye.